just drove through a crazy rainstorm and once again I have the leaks to prove it and uh, this is my own fault we I had a bad leak when we drove through a really bad storm outside of Carthage Texas and my RV bathroom vent seems to leak and the back window only when I drive through really heavy rainstorms sitting in rain doesn't bother it and uh, I waited too long when we were traveling I couldn't fix it because we were traveling uh, every day and I wasn't in one spot long enough to fix it and uh, I I just kept putting it off but I do have the materials with me I do plan on fixing it now that we can stay put for a couple of days but this one caused a lot more damage than even the first one. I've got, I mean, it was a deluge. It was a flood of water underneath uh, my laminate floor. So I'm trying to get those dried out. And the mattress needs to be dried out. It got really wet soaking through the back window. I have all the decor and this, everything I need to get my roof repairs done and check out my vent and see what needs to be done about that. So stay tuned. I'm going to repair my roof. I also want to let you know, this is not a how-to video. <laughs> I'm going to be repairing my roof and showing you how Carolyn does it. I did do reading and research and I watched videos, so, I, you know, it's not, I'm, I'm just not professing to know that this is the perfect way to do it. I'm just saying this is how I'm going to do it and stay tuned and we'll let you know the results and whether or not it worked. But so my back window has been leaking in really bad driving in really bad rainstorms. If I'm sitting in one place, um, I'm not having any leaking issues. So there's pressure causing water to go into this back window. And um, I'm noticing that on this side is where most of the water seems to be coming through because that's the side of my pillows and stuff that um, are, are the most wet. And I was just cleaning it off, getting ready. I'm using Dicor non-leveling on this. So you can use on vertical surfaces where the self-leveling you wanna um, use like on the roof because it'll level out. This stuff I'm assuming, I haven't, I haven't tried it yet, I haven't seen it. I'm assuming it's gonna be thicker and it's just gonna lay down and even have to smooth it down with a putty knife. But we'll see when, I, when we get it open and get up there. And as I was cleaning, I found the culprit. <laughs> um, I can actually get my nail underneath and you'll see up here there is some old caulking around the window up here but um, yeah but on the sides and I can look out my back window and just see it streaming down the window so I'm sure the top probably isn't sealed. I actually don't have a ladder so I'm just gonna have to stand on my I'm standing on my ice chest, but yeah, I can get my fingers in there, which means there is definitely water coming in there. And because my RV is old, it doesn't have the trim anymore. Inside, I don't know if you can see, but inside the trim where you can see the screws, they're supposed to be a piece of trim like this big that fits in here to cover up the nail, the screw holes. And that can actually act as kind of a buffer for the water, but instead it's being funneled down these tracks and creating lots of um, like little rivers of water. And that's happening in the back. I see definitely as I'm driving, it's just kind of cascading down this window like crazy. But I do want to try to seal that today too. And um, yeah, because it water could be coming in from there too. You see that, the, the trim? It looks like it's probably holding together the roof piece and the wall piece, the wall piece and the roof piece. And the water could be getting in behind this fiberglass into the plywood and coming down the wall too. Um, so I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to do that today too. But I went ahead and went around with the die core non-leveling and then I, smoothed it out with a putty knife to create a nice tight seal all the way around the window and it's been a few days now so you can see that this is now covered in dirt <laughs> it's dirt and grime and uh, I haven't been through a big rainstorm yet to, so I don't know how it's holding but you can see I did flatten it out with a putty knife so I just beaded it on just like I uh, did on the roof which I'll show you in a minute and then I just flattened it out and uh, tried to blend it as much as I could and making sure everything was sealed and uh, there we go my window is sealed I also went ahead and reinforced that connected that trim piece there that connects the wall to the roof 
I did use the same non-leveling on that since it's vertical. And uh, again, just used my finger mostly just to press it in and seal it into the crevices and uh, get a nice smooth finish on it. Like I said, it doesn't look pretty and uh, <laughs> nothing about Matilda is pretty. Um, I'm sure some people probably have neater ways to doing it so that, you know, if you have a newer rig and you want it to look good. But this is how I did it. I probably could have cleaned it up. I do have caulk remover, so I could probably clean it up and make it look better. But I'm not worried about it. I also slapped a little bit around the lights, the fixtures on the lights. And just really sealed it all up. Just slapped this stuff on and sealed it up. I just did the top. Since I don't have a ladder, I couldn't reach underneath. But, uh... When I get my hands on a ladder, I'll go ahead and just seal underneath too. Let's go on the roof. Welcome to the roof of my RV. <laughs> uh, I've already done a little bit of work up here. You'll notice with my friend Badge. I had a leak there. Uh, that was where I ripped off my TV antenna, and there, the and that was leaking no matter what I did. So we already die cord that. I did a little bit of work. Uh, we already we sealed a lot of this up here, and so a lot of this has already been done. And what I'm going to do today is really just go around everything that I didn't go around with badge and just seal this puppy up. <laughs> the roof you'll see, is, it's a rubber roof and it really is in pretty good shape. And uh, you don't see any tears in it, which is pretty amazing considering how I drive it. Uh, but there aren't any tears or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go around everything, all the edges and the refrigerator vent. You can see I've already started without you. I already put turnabond tape over the screw holes. I really just want to seal this up as much as I can and see if I can stop the leaks. And again, uh, at this point, I, I'm shopping. The sooner I get out of this, the better. I literally feel like Matilda is disintegrating around me. But I am looking. I'm looking for a great deal, probably on a Class B, something smaller, something easier to drive. So today what I want to do is just seal this puppy up <laughs> so that we don't leak anymore. Okay, so my bag window is leaking water and I really am not completely sure where anything is coming from, but I have holes in my... Um, ladder mounts. The ladder is broken. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Right now what I'm worried about are the leaks. I can still get on the roof with the ladder like this. So I'm just going to put some Eternabond on these leaks because these are screwed into the roof somewhere. So there's a good chance there's water coming in there. So I'm going to go ahead and just put some Eternabond tape on those. And you can see here, look at, there's creaks, there's cracks underneath there. So I'm going to go ahead and seal this too while I'm up here. I'm basically just going to slap this stuff everywhere I can and see if I can stop the leaks. The nice thing about this is it comes in a roll like tape, but it's almost like rubber. So once you take the back off and um, put the adhesive on, look at how that molded. It just molded right around that. So I was able to cut it so that it kind of wrapped around and once it's in the sun, I mean it's hot, so I can already feel it just kind of melting into the roof. So that's one. And now I've got this hole here, I don't know if you can see that, and one in the back here. So I'll just put some smaller pieces there. This is hard to do. <laughs> All right, see I have it laid out. Now I don't want to cut this on my rubber roof because I don't want to put slices in my rubber roof. So I'm just using this, um, this is the vent for my refrigerator. Then I'll put this back on later. And uh, right now though, I'm using it to cut. this <laughs> 
and it's already getting gooey. So you can't move it once it's down. Okay, I can really press it in there. So I'm gonna use this to also seal that edge there if it needed it. Oh, look at there's holes everywhere. core tape is amazing. I've used it on my bumper down there and look at that. It's already got a nice tight seal and it's waterproof. So if any water was coming in through there, it's not anymore. So that's one more down. <laughs> now let's go back to this. So I've been cleaning this both with, um, you should clean it first at least to get all the dirt off so that it sticks. And I cleaned it first with um, vinegar and water and then a little simple green. Um, you know, you need to be really careful on a rubber roof. That's I do know that because I don't want to disintegrate my rubber roof. My roof is actually in pretty good shape. And uh, so I didn't wash it down with anything too harsh, just vinegar and simple green. And now I'm going to go ahead and lay the die core. You see, actually let me show you. See, look at it. It is kind of coming up and you can actually see the trim down there. So there's a good chance water is coming in there and going down underneath this and going inside my window, which you can't see. Can you see? Um, oh wow, maybe even around my lights. So you know what? I'm gonna put some die core on the lights too. This is not how I'm working, but I'm going to show you filming and <laughs> doing this at the same time is not easy. I have a whole new appreciation for Les Stroud, Survivor Man. Love him. Goes out and does these survival shows and does all his own camera work. And now that I'm shooting videos, I know how much work that can be. Setting up a shot, I mean, in mine are nothing compared to what the professionals do. But some of the shots he sets up, oh my gosh, you know how much work that is? I mean, even me coming up on the roof and having to bring a tripod and a camera and an extra battery. <laughs> had to go down three times because my battery was dead and my tripod had to come up and separate because, you know, I was carrying all my working, you know, all my, all my tools. Anyway. Okay, I'm putting nice thick beads on. I'm being very liberal with this. No pun intended. <laughs> because I don't care. I just want it to not leak. I think this stuff's about 10 bucks a tube. Okay. Okay, I had to grab a new tube. <laughs> when I came back. Look at I stepped in it. <laughs> yeah. This is not my thing. Did I mention that? Okay, that's a nice angle. And then I need to poke it down to poke a hole in it. So I'll use my screwdriver and then of course I'm gonna make sure I wipe this off so I don't ruin my screwdriver. Okay. Pull the trigger. So it's tight in there so it starts coming out there we go okay I have a nice steady bead going all the way across I'm not sparing any just making sure I get it nice sealed and uh, it'll level out and I'll show it to you once it's leveled out okay I'm gonna go ahead and finish around here and the cracks that I see over here I'm gonna see if I can fix this this is where my awning broke off last year Ugh. And that's metal. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I might just have to put more tape over it. Eternabond tape. It's amazing stuff, but it wore off, I think, because I ran into another tree. So I think I'll just cover that up again. Because I can't, I don't have the tools to break off that piece of metal. Okay. I'm up here, buddy. <laughs> Where'd mom go?
Where'd mom go? She didn't leave you. Okay, so as you can see, this is really old. Look at that, and worn out. I mean, yeah, look at that, it's cracking. Um, I guess I could just replace this rubber, but I have no idea where I'd find that. And they're not that expensive. I mean, look at, and this is, it's all worn out. I think I'm just gonna replace it, but first what I have to do is, uh, of course, I'm gonna need to get it out. <laughs> so that means, um, oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. So I could be getting leaks from um, both, both from here and from that. I don't know if you can see that, um, but that's already starting to lift up from the from the um, roof. So I have a feeling the whole thing is just leaking like a sieve when I'm driving in a storm. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. I'm near a Home Depot, but I don't know that I'd be able to find one of these at a Home Depot. So let's go ahead and replace it. I'll check back with you next time I have a replacement fan to replace it. I just put a little hole in the rubber roof, so I'm gonna have to make sure I seal that back up. Let's see, I have a rubber roof. So you'll see some of it came up easier than others, uh, which means to me that that's probably where the problem areas on this are. This over here, I'm having a really hard time getting off. So it's not dried out, it's still gummy. So I'm gonna assume that it's still working really well. So I'm just gonna leave it. Of course, I'm gonna have to go over what I did because I made a mess here. Look at, I even got a couple holes in my roof, um, my my nice rubber roof. So I'm gonna seal those um, with a turnabon tape actually, and then I'll go over it with the Dicor self-leveling. So you'll see also here, this side was softer. This side is the side that um, I started taking off. And I'm gonna go ahead and just reseal that. And I also might have, yeah, look at that's loose there too. So I'm gonna go ahead and seal this. Look at that's look at that. That's coming right off. So I'll seal that too. I can stop the existing leaks and uh, keep her waterproof while I'm in her, maybe another year. Then that's good for me. Okay, so the first thing I did is uh, seal that hole in the roof with the Eternabon tape. And now I'm already starting to lay down the die core. And I'm making a mess. <laughs> Remember, this is not a how-to video. <laughs> this is a video showing how Carolyn does this stuff. And it ain't pretty. So I'm just gobbing it on, and you'll see that it's already starting to level. So I am just gobbing it around the seams here. And then over here, I do, I, I was able to get all the old stuff off. So you can see I'm actually sealing the edges. And this is gonna create a nice seal so that water can't get in where the vent meets the roof. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. The refrigerator vent is sealed and put back together. All of my sides up here and corners are die cored and a turn bonded like crazy. <laughs> my back window is sealed and I think we're good to go. Bring on the next rainstorm. Thanks for hanging with me today. I'll keep you updated on how this all goes. Oh, and the fantastic fan will be installed soon. So stay tuned for that.